junk and poo over here in Porville. I've been cutting up these, uh, it's an old Coca-Cola machine. I thought I'd make some signs out of it. So this is, I got a, a nibbler is what they call it. I bought from a yard sale. So I got to cut this last one to kind of show how it works. It's actually pretty cool. I need to clean my bench off. So I'm low budget over here in Porterville. I got a couple of them cut out. They got to be dinged out and straightened out. This is actually uh, not the good stings. Ready to go to the strap here. I'm going to hang a couple of these in the garage and clean a couple of them up. I might even try to sell a couple of them. This one needs some water on it. They've been sitting out there in the mud. That one I cleaned up a little bit. Anyway, yeah, that network works pretty good. I bought that from a yard sale. This is a uh, scrap here. I don't think that's. No, it's all the bad stainless. Oh well, it's pretty heavy though, even for tin. So this is supposed to do one eighth. And I think I actually paid eight bucks from this for that. It spits out these little shavings here. If you got a straight edge or something, it'll cut pretty straight. But these things are pretty hard to move around. I was trying to. I carried them from the other side of the building and they're a little tricky to carry. I was going to bring them in the garage, but the uh, garage is a little cluttered still. But what I'm going to do with the generator, I've got to put it over here and uh, move this bench where I can actually use it, get it cleaned off. For some of my projects and move the generator over so I can wire it right into the service. Then uh, I'll be able to put it. We have a power outage. I'll be able to run it uh, in the house by shutting the main breaker off and probably the 220 hot water heater. And I think it'd pretty much run the house. So yeah, I did actually find a breather. I haven't got it back on yet. It, it didn't start as good as I wanted it to. It took a few pulls and but it is a runner. I'm gonna be out here today. I think I'm gonna start on this corner and see if I can make room to get this out of the middle of the uh, building. The uh, consumers was here a couple hours ago and did get the power on. They knocked that limb down and the wire is kind of low now. So I think the loader will still go under it, hopefully. I don't carry anything over the top of the loader if I'm moving stuff around. I have brought cars from out back going to the scrapyard and used the loader, but I don't try to haul anything that high. You always want to haul it as low as possible. There's my free tripod. Well, I hope everybody's having a good day. 
I'm about, well not today, but I'm going to get this motor and clean the room and I'm going to get that flathead there in there and see if I can get it to rolling over. Get it cleaned up, see if we can get it to fire up. And get some of this. I'm probably going to smack that one out and cut it or uh, save that sign. Just more or less uh, junk art. Because that's what my plan on doing is taking a lot of my scrap and making it different. Yard art, junk art out of junk metal. Yeah, I know a couple of people around that do that, and they seem like they sell it every now and then. Some of these are a little rough, some of the stuff's tore off. I don't know if I'll do that one, I might. Nothing else, I can hang them out in the woods. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your day. Goodbye now.